My plan today is to change the shock absorber uh, protector covers on my BMW F11. I've just noticed on the driveway there was a piece of foam from something that looked like this. Um, so I assume that uh, they are damaged and these are just fallen down on the shock absorber. So I just want to change them before uh, they cause any damage to the shock absorber. Before I lift the car up, I'm just going to loosen all the bolts so it makes it easier to take the wheel off once the car is in the air. I just want to add a disclaimer that I am trying to undo the bolts without supporting the suspension and this is the wrong way to do it. I realized this as I was taking the bolts out and noticing that uh, the whole assembly wants to drop and, and I quickly proceeded to uh, putting a jack underneath the suspension. So in order to get the shock absorber bolts out, I've had to uh, lift the suspension up a little bit, otherwise I can't get the bolts out. Um, so this is how it looks like. I'm just trying to Why, lift it up um, so that it doesn't pull the shock down. So this is where it becomes a little bit difficult because I can see a nut in there but that just spins um, and I can put an allen key to stop it from spinning but I can't get the 17 mm um, socket on there with an allen key and still be able to turn it. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. So this came out easier than I thought, uh, with just a long 6mm uh, hex key and a pair of pliers, but uh, it wasn't quite as tight as I maybe expected it to be. So 
so you can see how damaged the old cover was and I can also see a little bit of rust forming at the top here um, I'll just try and clean it off it's probably worth changing these shock absorbers but um, I haven't purchased any so maybe that's another job for another day So while I'm here, it's worth taking a photo of the part number, so I have it for next time. I'll also clean this a bit with the wire wheel, making sure it's clean. Before I put this back, I just want to make sure there's a little bit of Loctite because this wasn't tight to begin with and I don't intend on making it very tight so a little bit of anti-seize Loctite will probably help it. And I'll put the anti-seize on all the bolts. I just want to open it. This is probably a little bit tighter than uh, the force that I, it needed to take it off, so I don't want to overkill it because it was not tight from the, the beginning. Again, just a little bit of cleaning, not too much. Just another part number here on this top mount. Never know when I'm gonna need to know this part number. So now it's just time to put everything back together. You can see the dust covers there. Uh, this one needs to be that way around. Squeeze it back through. Just a little dab of uh, NTCs on there. The bolts look very clean, but uh, I just want to make sure that they won't seize up in the future. On this bottom bolt I probably won't really put any anti-seize on it. It's 